Hi there, Tony Knight the Dog Listener here. And I'm doing this film because I uh, recently met a dog who um, had severe separation anxiety and although they came on very well during my time with them, they did ask some questions. And one question in particular revolved around recall. Now a lot of people have recall issues with their dog. You only have to see the famous uh, clip on YouTube of Fenton to know that some dogs will not listen to their humans. But some dogs, when their people call them to them, do not come at all, even in the house. And that's not just that they're being stubborn. This has far more significance than we are aware of. This is all about status. Let me give you an example of how this simple idea can be surrounded in all kinds of pomp and ceremony and importance. Not just the dogs, but the humans too. In Great Britain, every so often, the Queen will start the state opening of Parliament. It's a big ceremony. She comes in wearing the big robes and the big hat and she sits on a big throne. You notice she has to go upstairs to it because height is of significance. What are you supposed to do if you meet the Queen? You're supposed to bow or curtsy, i.e. get smaller. Do you know another animal that uses height domination to make a point? Once she's nice and comfy, she gives the order to get the politicians in. Go get them! And then someone called... Oh, what's the name? Black Rod! That's the one. Black Rod goes from the House of Lords to the House of Commons to summon the politicians to come and hear the Queen's speech. She's not going to come to them, they've got to go to her. She sat on the throne and that's the seat of power. Mr Speaker, the Queen commands this Honourable House to attend Her Majesty immediately in the House of Peers. And so off they go to go and hear the monarch. Of course in the good old days, the good old blood and guts and thunder and Game of Thrones days, without the dragons, if you were summoned to go to the monarch and you didn't go, they could cut your head off. So it carried some weight back then. This is mainly symbolic, but it still means something. Oh God, there's that one with the stupid hair. Is he still around? Never mind. And just before she starts her speech, the Queen indulges herself and takes one last look at the swatch of the new carpet design for Windsor Castle. Yes, that's lovely, thank you. Oh, invoice. Hmm, deal with that later. Right, let's get this over with. I want to get back to the castle in time to watch Grand Designs. Of course, it doesn't just end with the Queen doing the state opening of Parliament or the idea of sitting on a throne. Last time I went to the doctors, I was very pleased to see that the doctor's chair was bigger than mine. I know if you go to the dentist, you're in the big chair, but very quickly you lose a lot of height and they gain a lot over you. You go to the, a big business and uh, go to the chairman's office. They're called the chairman or chairwoman for a reason, because they will have a bigger chair. Who's got the big chair? Who's got the throne? Who's got the power? Human beings understand this very well, and so do dogs. Let me show you what I mean. Come on, Rusty. Come on. Get off the couch, dude. Remy, we've talked about this. You were in mummy's chair. You gonna get down? Remy? You gonna get off mummy's chair? Remy, we've talked about this, honey. You gonna get down? Get off the couch. Get off the couch. Get down. Indeed. So now we understand the importance of the throne. This is why recall is such a good idea to practice in the house. Because if you're calling a dog to you and the dog doesn't come to you, the last thing you should be doing is going up to the dog. Because then, who's won the Game of Thrones? So make sure that your dog comes to you when you ask. If they do, great, you can give them a treat, give them a fuss, give them a cuddle, something positive. But if you call them and they don't come to you, don't get this wrong. There are some dogs out there that will tell you off for getting it wrong, and not just with a growl. So you've got to be careful. So to sum up, make sure that you get the Game of Thrones right from the very beginning with your dog, because your dog attaches as much importance to it as the Queen of England. Thanks for listening. Speak to you again soon. 
Somebody give that ridiculous man a hairbrush.